Hi everyone, in this video we will learn about scene management in Blender. So if I go over to the info editor of Blender, you will see a, a drop down tab called scene. Um, basically what this means is, for example, you could animate two friends having a phone conversation. One friend could be at home and the other friend could be in a different country or just hopping off the train or something. So in Blender, you could create two different scenes and then join them together in the video editor. I want to start with a, a cube, just a, I don't know, just a random cube scene. We're going to make this an alien cube-like planet, for example. All right. Now that is my scene. So that is, well, the default scene. Let's create a new scene. I'm going to make it new. And then I'm going to add another one called UV sphere, and, and this can be just planet Earth. So I'm just going to say Earth scene, and this one alien scene. So as you can see, oops, sorry. So as you can see, it's easy to switch between two different scenes, and this makes it pretty useful to create those multiple scenes in one Blender file. Uh, my personal opinion is I rarely ever touch this. I don't. I don't need. I don't ever use scenes unless I really, really need to. When I make movies, it always tends to be a lot easier just to have one scene to work with. Animate all of that in the one scene, and then create a new Blender file, and then create my second scene. It tends to be. It does tend to add on the megabytes, but it tends to be easier and a lot more quicker to work with uh, files that doesn't have as many 3D objects. So for example, you can imagine if I have one epic landscape scene with lots of trees and rocks and mountainscapes, and another scene with which is a cityscape with lots of skyscrapers and things. Um, with, if I put that all in one Blender file, I can expect it to crash or be very, very clunky to work with. So that's one of the main reasons why I tend to separate it out in different, different Blender files. But uh, it does have its uses. Um, I do remember seeing some tutorials online where they used uh, multiple scenes to create one epic composite render. Uh, maybe one scene was used for the sky, another scene was used for um, the main foreground and then they somehow combined those two scenes together to make this epic uh, render. Well, I thought I'd just put that out there just in case you might be wondering what that exactly does. but. Uh, yeah, personally, I don't use it as much, but uh, it's always good to know that, that that's there. And that's all. Just a short video, but I hope that was useful to you and that you learned something new. And keep bending, and I'll hope to see you in the next video.